Hello and welcome back to another video uh, in mathematics. Uh, this time we will uh, talk about the transformation by trigonometric formulas. Uh, this is a technique in uh, solving uh, integrals uh, involving trigonometric functions. So there are actually four types of uh, this problem and we will this video ang um, discuss ko is uh, type 1. So there will be four videos under uh, this topic. So for type 1, we have the integral of sine raised to m x cosine raised to n x differential x where either, the very important, where either m or n is a positive add integer. So uh, it's either m or it's either n or pending both. Both of them could be positive uh, add integer. So that's very important. Positive add integer. Okay? So let's say we have sine raised to m x cosine raised to n x differential x and let's say that uh, m is a uh, positive odd integer so let's say that it is a positive odd integer if that is a positive odd integer okay we can also write sine raised to m minus 1 x and then multiply by uh, sine x cosine raised to n x differential x this portion itong portion na to if we subtract 1 uh, if we subtract 1 to m, then it will become even. Okay? And then once it will become even, we will introduce the uh, substitution or the trigonometric formula which is sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So the same thing will happen if we have uh, if we have uh, n as a positive odd integer. Okay? So let's say uh, the opposite case naman, uh, n is a positive odd integer integer then what uh, we'll do in that case is uh, sine raised to mx cosine raised to n minus 1 x cosine raised to n x differential x so ito if we again subtract 1 this will become a positive odd integer uh, positive even integer this will become even as well okay this will become even and we will introduce this uh, trigonometric formula. Now, for clarity, no, para mas maintindihan natin, I will uh, demonstrate an ex uh, I, will, I will demonstrate the theorem or the proposition uh, using an example. Okay? So, let's say we have example number 1. So, simplihan lang natin. Let's say we are integrating cosine raised to uh, 3 x and then sine squared x differential x. Okay? So, sabihin na natin this is 4 raised to 4. Para mas mahirap ang bawa, no? But in this case, no, this is uh, this is an example under type one because we have a positive odd integer. Okay, we have a positive odd integer which, which is three. Okay, so the first step that we will do is we will subtract one. Okay, so we have cosine squared x and then cosine x sine raised to four x differential x. Okay, so sabi ko ang next step is we will introduce this particular uh, trigonometric formula. Now since uh, we have cosine squared here, okay? Cosine squared is equal to, according to this formula, based on this uh, trigonometric formula, okay? That is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So, if I will substitute that, 1 minus sine squared x as a substitute for cosine squared x, I will now have cosine x and then sine raised to 4 x differential x, okay? So, if you already notice, we have here sine a function uh, which is uh, in terms of sine and we have here sine raised to 4 if i will multiply okay if i will multiply this function into this then i will have sine raised to 4x cosine x differential x minus sine raised to 6x cosine x differential x so what happens now is from this no from this uh, integral i now have I now have, I can now solve this as a power formula, u raised to n differential u. Why? Because for both cases, your u is sine, your u is sine x, your n is, for this case, is 4, for this case, it's 6, and the differential u is cosine x differential x, which is this part. Cosine x differential x, cosine x differential x. So, by transformation, okay, by using the technique given to us in type 1, we have, we can now integrate this, okay? By power formula, which is, review natin, u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So this will be simply sine raised to 5x over 5 minus 
sine raised to 7x over 7 plus c. Okay? So that would be the final answer. Okay? So I hope you're getting the grasp of it. So example number 2. So let's say we have uh, sine raised to 5. Okay? Sine raised to 5x and then cosine raised to 4x differential x. So first step, subtract 1. Kung baga paghiwalayin lang natin to, we have sine raised to 4x and sine x, okay? So that is equal to sine raised to 5x, okay? And then cosine raised to 4x, differential x. Or sine raised to 5x, sine raised to 5x, differential x. So this one, okay, sine raised to uh, 4x and sine x is equal to your sine raised to the fifth, okay? So we will introduce, okay, we will introduce uh, the formula that sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x. So san galing yan? That is based on this particular Pythagorean formula. Okay? So, we have your sine to the 4. So, paano yan? What, what will you do with that? So, sine to the 4, first of all, is equal to sine squared x raised to 2. Okay? So, sine x times cosine to the 4th x differential x. So, if uh, this is now sine squared raised to 2, we can now introduce this. 1 minus cosine squared x and then squared, quantity squared, and then sine x cosine to the 4th x differential x. Okay? So, if I will uh, if I will expand this, it will become 1 minus 2 cosine squared x plus cosine to the 4th x and then plus quantity multiplied by sine x cosine to the 4th x differential x. Okay? Distribute. So this is 1. So this will simply be cosine to the 4x cosine to the 4th x sine x differential x. Notice, inuuna ko na yung cosine because yun yung yun natin. Okay? And then you have your 2 integral of cosine to the 6x and then sine x differential x plus cosine to the 8x, okay, sine x differential x. So if you notice here, okay, your u is always, for the three uh, for the three terms here, your u is always cosine. And then you have varying, uh, naging iba-iba na lang yung in natin, it varies, no? depends on the uh, simplification. But your differential u is always negative sine x differential x, which is the differential of cosine x. So we have here sine x differential x, diba? for all of the terms. So lahat ulit, all of, all of these three terms can be solved by u raised to n differential u. This is equal to u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay? So, if this is negative, no? if the differential is negative, then magkano lang tayo, magkalagay lang tayo ng balancing factor. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we, ano yan? We have cosine to the fourth x and then negative sine x differential x. This is your differential u. Put a negative uh, sign there for the balancing factor. Balancing factor is negative 1. So, here we have negative 2, okay? So, integral of cosine to the 6x, and then we have negative sine x differential x, again, as our differential u. Since we will uh, introduce another uh, negative sign, or negative 1 as a balancing factor, then therefore this will become positive, okay? That will become positive. Negative times negative is positive. And then plus cosine to the 8x, and then this is the differential of that, no? Is uh, sine x differential x, of course. So, this will now become negative, okay? Balancing factor is negative 1. So, the final answer now is negative cosine to the 5th x over 6 plus 2 cosine to the 7th x all over 7 minus cosine to the 9th x, okay? 9, 9x over 9 plus c, okay? So, for type 1, okay, summarize natin. Let's do a summary. For type 1, it's very important that if you have this combination, okay, titignan nyo muna if m or n is a positive add integer. So, pwedeng m is add, n is add, okay, basta isa sa kanila is a positive add integer. Okay, when one of them is a positive add integer, identify that, make it even by subtracting 1, tapos, iihiwalay mo yung uh, isang, yung, yung hiniwalay natin, subtract natin na isa. After subtracting, that will now become your differential u. Okay, so notice that uh, as you transform, no, as you transform, Kung ito yung transform mo, if this is the one that you transform, it will eventually mimic siya dito, magiging cosine. Tapos lahat ng terms will have uh, u raised to n dy. Same case with this one. Okay? So first identify what is the ad, what is the ad exponent okay? between the two. Ano ba yung may ad exponent? And then apply the transformation. If both of them, okay, if both of them are ad, then you can select. And then you'll have two answers, two different answers. Okay? You can select kung ano yung gusto mong i-transform, whether it, it is the sine or it is the cosine. Okay? So, I hope that you have learned something from this video. And uh, see you on the next video, which is type 2.